Hey, what is up guys, Smurfy here, and today I want to talk about the new Hidden Herbalist card. Uh, if you haven't seen this card, it's basically just been spoiled. Um, and if, you've, if you recognize this card at all, um, it might be because of Burning Tree Emissary. They're pretty much the same card, um, they're just a 2 mana creature uh, for a 2-2, and -two. Um, when it's battlefield it gives you 2 more mana back. Uh, Burning Tree Emissary has been like very good in the zoo decks because it just gives you very explosive turn 2s where you can basically play creatures like but you can play Burning Tree Emissary for free and then play another creature or play 2 1 drops and it just gives you incredibly powerful um, aggressive turns and your opponent often like if you have like 2 Burning Tree Emissaries in your hand a lot of the time in zoo you just win because you're so far ahead. Um, so the most obvious combo with Burning Tree Emissary was Reckless Bushwhacker you just go like Burning Tree Burning Tree Reckless Bushwhacker but now you get Hidden Herbless which means you can go uh, even bigger on the chain, you can just like chain creatures, and it's just insane. Um, and the most, but the most obvious downfall is that it makes green green, and you can't use bushwhacker off of uh, green mana. Um, so you just play mana uh, It basically just fixes your mana. It sounds a little bit niche, but it's uh, super relevant. And I actually think that with the new herbalist and burning tree and mana you can actually build some broken decks. And I think there's going to be a tier one deck built out of these. Um, with Man Morphos, you can just play like Double Goblin Guide or Double Wild Cattle or any mixture, um, as well as Kick a Bushwhacker. So you can basically just play a Zoo deck um, with eight zero mana two twos, which is insane. Uh, and then yeah, you just fix your mana with Man Morphos, um, which when it comes up. Um, and the next combo I really like with Burning Tree and um, Hidden Herbalists is Miss Superion. So Miss Superion's never really picked up in modern, but now with the Bushwhacker, uh, sorry, with the Herbalists. And the burning trees, you can now play a two mana five six in zoo, which is just ridiculous. You've now got eight creatures in your deck that can cast Miss Superion, uh, and I just think that's going to be insane. Like Miss Superion is like better than Goyf in these decks at this point, right? Because um, Goyf is like going to be like a five six or something if you're lucky. If not, it's going to be like a three four. Um, but yeah, so Miss Superion just comes down straight away. Um, it's just a huge body. It's a little bit less consistent than Tamagoyf in uh, how easy it is to cast, but the upside is huge. And it's just very, very difficult to deal with. Um, so yeah, with these, with the new Herbalist, I've basically just made a bunch of different decks. Uh, and the first one is just a basic zoo deck. Um, the original, it's basically like the original zoo deck. Uh, deck with Wild Nakatos, Breakfast Bushwhackers, Tamagoyfs, um, all that good stuff, uh, which is the list here. The only difference is I've added Mere Superion, uh, Mana Morphos to fix your mana from the uh, Herbalist and the Burning Tree. Um, obviously added the Herbalist and I've also added comments because we're playing 4 Mana Morphos and it's just with fetch lands and things it's very easy to get a Mana Morphos um, online. And we're also playing uh, 4 Monasterius Whisper because we're playing 4 Mana Morphos and things like that. It just, it just gets very big very quickly. Um, I actually think that this deck um, or a deck variant like this has the potential to be a tier 1 deck. Uh, playing 8 0 mana 2 twos in Zoo is insane with Atakus Command and Bushwhackers. It's just very, very, very powerful. I think um, even without the Hidden Herbless, I thought this deck was very powerful. And I think this is going to push it over the top. Um, however, there is another deck I thought up. And if you hadn't noticed already, both Herbless and Burning Tree Emissary are both humans. And what is more powerful than a 0 mana 2 2 is a 0 mana 2 2 with a tribe. So uh, we're going to play humans, um, or at least we're going to try it. So we're playing Experiment 1, Champion of the Parish, and Boris Elite. Um, these are basically all going to be all going to be one mana three threes at least. Uh, Experiment one and Champion of the Parish are like easily going to get way bigger than that. Um, so you just play any of these on turn one, and then we've got the Burning Tree and the Hidden Herbalist, along with Thylus Lieutenant, Hamlet Captain, and Mayor of Averbuck. So you basically have a bunch of one mana three threes, one mana four fours, and two mana three threes, or sorry, zero mana three threes, and then a bunch of uh, anthems. I think this deck is uh, going to take people by surprise because it's just uh, very consistent, or at least it looks very consistent because um, with the new herb list, it just it's just a lot more powerful. Um, so I've gone ahead and wrote up a rough list there. We're also playing a taxi probe in this list. Uh, no particular reason other than it cycles. It helps people become immense. Um, it tells you what your opponent's got, and it just helps you draw the combo pieces a lot more reliably. Uh, and if you noticed on both lists, we're playing very low land count because we're basically just a turn two deck. Um, so yeah, those are my two decks. I think that not necessarily one of those decks is tier one, but I think one of them has the potential to be fine tuned into a tier one deck. Um, yeah, I think that one of those lists is definitely going to be a top contender in modern soon. It might not be very popular, but I think it's going to be like, like Death Shadow was one of the more powerful decks in modern, but not many people were playing. I think this is going to be a very similar situation where um, it's going to be a very powerful deck, but maybe people don't 
really catch on or something. But um, yeah, I think that I th they basically think that Hidden Helpless is going to break the Zoo deck in Modern and hopefully make it so that um, it is a Tier One deck. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'm going to play a bunch of these decks when Hidden Helpless becomes available on Modo. So if you guys want to see a um, like playlists of these in leagues and things, make sure to subscribe and um, I will post those as soon as I can. Thanks for watching and peace.